All right, Richard, you know, May 30th, the Elite Lap's coming up. So uh, for the handicappers, uh, we'd like to know if you can help us here. What's the difference, the biggest difference between driving here and driving overseas? Uh, it's a very big difference. You know, over there, uh, when I was over there, they seemed to, uh, you know, you're racing on a 5 8 mile track, and they all go out of there like crazy the first quarter, and uh, all of a sudden, the brakes just come on. So they can go, they can try the quarter in 28 seconds and go a half in 102, where, you know, you got to be ready for the brakes to come on immediately. They're mostly all stacked up in double tiers, and uh, they walk. For the, that, they walk that next half and then they sprint again the last quarter. Well, Elite Lop maybe is not that much different. Of course, you're going to have a little bit uh, different driver from different countries. And uh, but uh, Elite Lop itself, it's a mile race, and uh, you got to save ground because the speed is very high uh, whole race. So it really is all not 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 that much big different really. Can you win uh, parked out there in Elite Lop? No, I don't think so. Uh, well, Moneymaker did, but uh, she was kind of a little bit, uh, <coughs> excuse me, uh, outstanding that year. So, uh, but uh, it's tough to do. I mean, you know, every every turn you're going in high speed, and it's two lengths disadvantage every turn. So, it's hard to do. Now you drive here uh, all the time. What do you know about the drivers over there in Sweden? Um, they're a little tougher, I think. A little more, uh, you know, protect their territory a little bit, but. Uh, you know, it's still horse racing, and then, uh, you know, the drivers here and the drivers there, the only big difference is uh, not knowing each other, but, uh, you know, it's still a lot of driving, and it's a lot of competition. Joined by Brown Pierce. Ron, is there a difference between driving here in the States and driving over in Sweden and overseas? Oh, sure there is. Uh, it depends on what country you're, you're going to drive at, but every country has different rules. Now, uh, over in Sweden, when you have Mr. Muscleman, did you get the kind of respect that you'd get here? Um, no. Well, you know, it was a it was a great race. It was a hell of a horse race, um, but uh, from the the officials and uh, no, I didn't get any respect at all. I uh, I uh, they showed very little respect. Does the best horse uh, usually win the elite lap, or is it a race where traffic and uh, good fortune and luck play into it? Yes, it's about uh, same as here. You know, it's, it's it's a hell of a race. Everybody's going for the money. Nobody's out there. Nobody's. It's not the Salvation Army. You know, they're, we're, they're racing. It's a great race. Well, in a race like that, it's actually not that much difference, ex except that you know the all drivers. You know, they don't uh, have uh, maybe the comfort they have at home as uh, far as uh, the other drivers and uh, moving to the front and stuff like that. But you know, that's a mile race, and uh, you know they really go pretty much all out the whole way you know they usually go around 52 so it's not really anything different than uh, and you see here but you know that's not a normal race over here they got a lot of distance races and they got a lot of uh, handicap races and stuff like that so those races uh, are a big difference in what they uh, you see here but the elite lap itself it's not much different i don't know the biggest difference is probably uh, a lot of the trainers over there drive their own horses and uh you know it's a lot of different drivers like that and um uh, you know, that way they don't know the drivers as much as they do here. So they, when they get an opportunity to get out there and drive, they, they, they want to make the most out of it. You know, it, it's kind of a different game, but uh, they have some of the same similarities. But uh, the main difference is they kind of go fast and then they like to go slow as they can. But in the big race in that race, they, you know, they keep the pretty honest pace and they keep them rocking pretty good. But, you know, a lot of times they'll set two and three wide a lot of part of the mile. And, you know, but uh, the biggest thing I thought was the crowd. If the crowd just goes crazy when you're on the racetrack. How was the experience of driving in the Elite Lap for you? Oh, I thought it was great. You know, the, the fans are amazing. And uh, every time you go on the track, I got chills because they were screaming and it almost made me feel like a rock star over there. Well, overseas, I mean, I went to Italy a few years ago and uh, like they just sit out there. That's, that was the biggest difference. I mean, like they leave really hard and in the, the middle half, there's not a lot of movement. They'll just, you know, they'll be content to be coming first up, but just sitting outside with no pressure. So if, to me, that was the biggest difference. Well, there's. Uh not as much movement in the middle of a race over there. They all the movement is the first and the last quarter. They race out of there hard, and once everybody's set, um, you don't see horses retaking or letting a guy go and come back uh, like you do here. Um, so therefore, the middle half of the race is quite a bit slower, and uh, you know drivers are content to sit on the outside through those sore, slow fractions out there, and uh, rather than try and press the horse to go to the front. So you have to have a horse that's pretty uh, adept at getting out of the gate to have position. Uh, especially at the level uh, when you're talking about the Elite Lop. The Elite Lop's not just one race, it's like a huge one week, uh, almost like a festival over there. 
Yeah, it's pretty hard to describe because we really don't have anything like it. It, it certainly is a festival. It's a, you know, a sport spectacle for the people of Sweden and all of Europe that's involved in harness racing. It's, uh, there's different countries that uh, stake their claim to various spots of the grandstand and cheer for their horses. And uh, it's a unique, uh, unique day. I'd urge anybody that gets the chance to certainly go and experience it because it's something I'll never forget.